man from uh, Detroit, Michigan. What is the ruling on eating raw food like sushi and raw beef? Run that. Question comes from where? Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan. What's the eating on? What's the ruling on eating raw food, such as sushi or raw beef? Okay. The general rule is that it's permissible to eat what you want to eat from the dunya. Eat what you like from the dunya. Allah made everything on this earth for us. So what's the ruling on eating cooked food? What's the delay that you have to cook food? Where where is it state that at? That you must cook food. Where is the hadith that warns us from eating raw food? Is there a hadith that states that? Who is the one who mandated the cooking of food? Is it well known? Of course we know that for years. But who is the one who mandated it? Where is it at? Bukhari Muslim? And which the Prophet says you must cook food. Beware of eating raw food. Do we have that? If we don't, then it's permissible to eat what you like. As long as it's halal and as long as it's not harmful and poisonous to the body. It's just that simple, alright? So that's first and foremost. The dunya, everything is permissible until proven haram. I can drink whatever's in this cup until it's proven haram, not the opposite. What's the delay that you can drink uh, Welch's grape juice in Perrier? You see the bottles? People can see? What's the delay that I can have this drink? What's the proof that it's permissible to mix these two? You have to have a proof saying that I what? I can't mix the two because it's a worldly issue. It's not a religious issue. You make eight rak'at after Salat al-Fajr, right after Salat al-Fajr. And one who says, what's the delay for what you're doing? Say, what's the delay is haram? No, it doesn't work like that. Man amila amala laysa alayhi amruna fuhurad. Aisha's narration, radiallahu ta'ala anha, in Sahih Muslim, that the Prophet sallallahu says, whoever does a deed which is not in r the rule book of ours, this rule book of ours, laysa alayhi amruna, is not in accordance with our affair, the deen, the sunnah, then it is rejected. So the dunya is permissible until proven impermissible. And the, the Islamic, religious, Spiritual aspect is prohibited until proven sunnah, proven to be the sunnah. So you can eat whatever you want to eat, all right? If eating sushi causes you harm, then you can't eat it. If eating raw beef causes you harm, then you can't eat it. If sushi is healthy for you and is tasty and delicious and you like it, bismillah, bismillah. What could be better for your body than fish? What could be fresh? More fresh or fresher than what? Raw fish. Right from the, the Baha, Rahman Tariya, we said, when we refuted Sheikh Hassan in Canada. Uh, and when she said that sushi was haram or makruh, we said, what? <laughs> La, yeah, Sheikh. Malich. No way. We're not accepting that, okay? At the end of the day, one can make the argument about what's the permissibility of eating steak? What's the permissibility of eating a big, gigantic plate of rice? Overseas, if, you, if they don't give you a big, huge heap of rice, people become offended and disrespected. You've disrespected, you've shamed me if you give me a little bit of rice. So one may say that eating sushi, just hypothetically speaking, is closer to the deen. It's, it, huh? Efficiency. It's a bowl of rice instead of a what? A plate of rice. The meat is cut, fresh, prepared, delivered specifically. Everyone understand this? As far as eating raw beef. Then the ulama of Islam, they say that the ulama of Islam hold the view that eating camel's meat breaks the wudu, has nothing to do with the, the meat being cooked. When I was in the college of hadith my first year, we were discussing this issue with our professor, Sheikh Saud al Jabroi, rahimahullah. And the issue came up of eating the camel's meat. And what the jumhur, the majority of the ulama say, and what other ulama say that eating the camel's meat breaks wudu, such as Imam Ahmed and others. So the issue came up of the camel's meat and the issue came up of mimma masatunar, that which was touched by the fire. So some students were saying, well, Sheikh, of course, there's a connection. And the Sheikh, he stopped the students. He says, there's no connection. If a person eats camel meat, cooked or uncooked, his wudu is broken. And he said that there are certain Arabs who eat raw camel meat. And they take thin slices of the hump of the camel and they eat it raw, just like sushi. So of course, the sushi is haram. The, 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 what they call it, the, the Yagyu beef, what they call it? The, 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 the Kobe beef and all the different words. That's haram because it's from the East. But the Arabs, their slicing of the camel hump is what? Halal. Halal tayyib. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone understand the culture shock once again? Why is that permissible? But what? That's not what? Okay. Okay. 
Everyone understand this? So we have to be mindful of this. So this is a proof saying that you can't eat it. One thing, eating pouring blood, clear. No, no debate about that. Oh, dem masfuha. Blood that rushes forth. No doubt about it. There's no blood yogurt or blood pudding. No offense to our brothers in the UK, right? You can't have blood pudding. All right? The blood that's poured out, that's one thing. Allah Alam, how they make the pudding or the sausage, is it cur? Allah Alam, maybe. But the blood that comes out of the animal's neck, for sure. You can't do that. All right? Muslim eating blood, that's one thing. But something which is raw, it's clean, it's efficient, it's healthy, it's not dangerous. What's the proof that it's what? Haram. One may say, brother, that's better for you. Instead of eating a big, gigantic shank of lamb with a huge plate of rice. And once you take a few bites and toss the rice into the trash. Huh? Wallahu alam.